the resurrection of the Saviour or the burial of the faithful? This is the dramatic question that the heads of the Christian churches in Aleppo, in northern Syria, are asking themselves in a heartfelt plea that they are making to the international community after the recent bombings that hit the city on the eve of the Orthodox Easter last weekend. The city's civilian neighbourhoods were targeted with rocket-propelled grenades whose destructive capacity we have never heard or seen before, wrote the representatives of the Christian churches. They described the consequences of the bombings with tragic images. We saw bodies pulled from the rubble, shreds attached to the walls and blood mixed with the soil of the homeland. Dozens of martyrs of every religion and confession have been wounded and mutilated, men and women, elderly and children. With the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights reporting more than 1,700 airstrikes in the country in April alone, resulting in 260 civilian casualties, and Human Rights Watch accusing Assad's government of using chemical weapons in the bombing, the church's call is also a denunciation. Enough with the destruction and desolation. They continue, enough with being a laboratory for weapons in a devastating war. We are tired. Close the doors on the sale of arms and the supply of ammunition. Stop the instruments of death. The plea to the world's public opinion is also a witness of faith for the heads of the Christian churches of Aleppo. In a city of nearly two million people, of whom 300,000 are Christians, many have fled during these years of war. Those who have remained, or who have so far survived the war, wrote, We want to live in peace as law-abiding citizens along with the other children of this country. And the statement closes with, We are not afraid of martyrdom, but we refuse to die and spill our blood for twisted, wretched intentions. <laughs>